Wow, just a few hours after I announce I'll believe it when I see it, Blue Origin carries out a successful static fire of all seven of their BE-4 engines. A 24-second hot fire, as a matter of fact. Quite impressive. And as near as we can tell, according to CEO David Limp, everything went according to plan. So the only thing that remains, apparently, is to make the encapsulated payload, which we assume is the Blue Ring spacecraft, and then this thing can fly. So taking off on January 6th, which was the date recently announced by the FAA, seems very, very likely now. And I have to say, I'm getting quite excited. It will be interesting to see another reusable rocket taking flight, because this is not a common thing at all. There are very few rockets that attempt to function this way. That is to say, landing the booster stage on a barge that is not something that most companies attempt to do blue origin is going to be attempting it in nine days and although i find it highly unlikely that they're going to be able to stick the landing on the first attempt well look what spacex did with their first attempt to capture their starship booster you never can tell and obviously, I wish Blue Origin luck in spite of everything I've had to say about them. Definitely could see a major turnaround from this company given the success of the BE-4s thus far with the two Vulcan Centaur launches that have already taken place, followed up by a successful launch of New Glenn. Yeah, we could have a big change taking place in the space industry soon. I will keep you up to date. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, stay angry about space.